Hi, I'm Tracy, VE3TWM. Thank you for tuning in to Outdoors on the Air. This is going to be a pretty short video. All I want to do is show you how to maximize the current draw by the FT891. Now the FT891 has taken some heat from, from myself included uh, over its seemingly excessive current draw. Uh, you'll notice the rig underneath it is an FT897 which draws about 600 milliamps on receive. Take a look at the attached voltmeter I've got here and I apologize for the glare, I am outdoors. And you'll see that the display there in the upper left hand corner indicates 0.99 amps. So virtually one amp on receive. I mean I don't even have a station coming in. There's no real audio to speak of if I crank the audio up a little bit. You can see it, it, the, the voltage, sorry, the amperage goes up slightly to one amp. And taking a look at the rig that's underneath it, the FT897, it draws about 600 milliamps. And the way to reduce, a significant way to reduce current draw on the 897 is to turn off the DSP. So I have, okay, great. Let's, uh, Let's go take a look. Now you're going to have a little bit of a problem um, with the uh, with looking at the display because when the uh, when the backlights are turned up, uh, it doesn't show very well on the camera. But now I've kicked in the digital noise reduction, which of course is uh, affiliated with the DSP, and you can see that you know what it's it's fluctuating between 0.99 amps and one amp. So. There's virtually no change when I turn that, when I toggle that on and off. I'm going from 1.00 to 0.99. So in other words, there's no great gain made when you turn on or off the DSP with the 891. That's either a positive or a negative, depending upon your perspective. But still, there's a way to reduce the current draw on this. And I've gone through the menus and this is the way that I've found that will get the 891's current draw down to the absolute minimum. So I'm going to press and hold the function key. Now, if you could see the screen clearly, uh, and because the backlight is up, and uh, the um, uh, I, I've got, uh, yeah, because the backlight is up. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to focus on that backlight. So the menu selection that I've got selected here is the dimmer LCD. And I'm just going to push and hold in the multifunction knob here. I, I pushed it and let go. And now that highlights the dimmer LCD. It's set to 15, which is the maximum. Now, if I take that down significantly, you're going to notice that you're going to start to see the display now because the camera likes the, 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 the lessened contrast a whole lot better but you'll see that we've dropped down to 0.97 amps. Now I'm just going to take it down and if I turn it off I'm still at 0.97 amps. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push in the multi knob again and just go up to the dimmer backlit selection and it's set for 15 and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that down to a level of one. And that of course is the backlights on the keys, uh, which, which is a nice feature. Uh, so I've taken them all the way down and take a look what happens. You've now got 0.85 amps that you're drawing. So now what you can do is you can just scale this up a bit to where it's actually necessary. So if you like it on five, that's great. You're still only at 0.88, which is, uh, which is you know, a noticeable savings on battery life as opposed to one amp. So I'm just going to go back down and I've got the LCD set at one and let me just set that up to, oh let's call it five. And what happens there is you can see we're still at 0 0.9 amps, so let's say 900 milliamps. So we've just saved ourselves, uh, you know, about 10 percent. And and this is the lowest I have been able to get an FT891 down on current draw but it could be noticeable depending upon how long you're going to be operating and what size battery you have. I hope you found this useful. Uh, please, if you, if you found any ways of getting the current draw on the FT891 down lower, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear about it. 
Well, you know what the deal is if you've watched this channel before. Now it's your turn. Get out of the shack, get outdoors, and get on the air. 7-3 from Tracy, VE3TWM.